Handheld gimbal-based stabilizers are changing the way we capture video. The reason why a handheld 3-axis stabilizer like the Ronin-M is so appealing is because it can generate movement that mimics many types of footage that you can capture when using equipment like dollies, sliders and jibs with just one piece of equipment. It opens the door for videographers to capture steady footage and be mobile with minimal investment. Hi, I'm Mia. DJI aimed the Ronin-M squarely at the professional market. Its design, setup, and precision are all geared towards people who know their craft and need to add production value to their work. In this video, we'll touch on the basic specs and design of the Ronin-M, how to set up and balance the device, and what it's like to use it. We'll also briefly go over the modes and accessories that you might find useful. The Ronin-M is the baby brother to DJI's Ronin. It's a handheld device that uses a three-axis gimbal with brushless motors to capture steady video. Ronin-M weighs just five pounds and is designed to hold camera and lens combos up to eight pounds. So it's perfect for mirrorless and DSLR cameras, even a Canon C100 will fit. It takes just a few minutes to put together the actual stabilizer. Ronin-M comes with a stand for setup and resting. The design is toolless. All of your adjustments and connections are secured with thumb screws. The handlebar is lightweight and screws into the top handle, and the hand grips slide on from there. The gimbal is made of lightweight magnesium and just screws right into the top handle bracket. The gimbal is designed to swing a complete 360 degrees. It's the same design DJI uses in their drones. Every part of this rig feels strong and durable, like it's built for pros. DJI has designed a long base plate for the camera to sit on with a threaded hole in the front for the included lens support. Now that lens support is important to help minimize any flex between the camera and the lens. Another nice touch is a built-in USB port and two 12-volt P-taps built into the gimbal's back arm. The first time you break out the Ronin-M and put the camera on it, the setup and the balancing process is going to take a little while. There are four axes that need to be balanced before you even turn the Ronin on. I found it helpful to make sure that the camera already has a media card and battery, remove the lens cap, and connect any cables that you'll be using, like an HDMI monitor cable. If you try to add these things later, it'll throw the balance off. Now, I'm not going to go through the entire balancing setup process. DJI has plenty of videos on that. Let me just warn you that even the smallest adjustments can have a huge impact on the balancing process, so you have to be patient. The closer you are to perfect balance here, the less work and strain on the motors to keep the camera steady and level. Now it's time to pair your Ronin with the DJI Assist app. Download the free app to your iOS or Android phone and pair the two with Bluetooth. This app is where you can access all of the modes and settings for your Ronin. You can configure some pan and tilt speed settings, along with things like stiffness and a few other ways to control the movement. One thing I would suggest for everyone is to turn on the smooth track function because that'll help smooth everything out. Also, auto-tune stability helps calibrate everything and you can see just how hard the motors are working to keep everything in perfect balance. Again, obviously less work is better. From here, you're ready to fly. The Ronin-M is light enough that you can shoot with it for long periods of time without much fatigue. If you use a wide-angle lens, your framing's pretty easy too. Walking heel to toe to reduce jarring footsteps will also help keep everything smooth. Holding it by the top handle makes for a nice low to the ground shot and it can simulate jib movement. The overall footprint of this device is small enough to use in crowds. There's only one thing that's hard to get used to. Because of its design, you can't really set the Ronin down unless you have the stand. So if you're not carrying the stand with you at all times, even when you're not shooting, you must carry the Ronin-M without setting it down. That can get to be a pain. You feel like you're wasting a lot of energy even when you're not gathering footage. I certainly tired out much faster than the battery. The battery life is great, easily four to five hours, especially if you're turning it off when you're not shooting. There are three shooting modes to try out and the Ronin-M will automatically switch between them depending on how you hold the device. The default mode is underslung mode, and that's for when you're holding the Ronin out in front of you or by the top handle. Upright mode is activated when you turn the camera to face you, then flip the gimbal over to bring the camera closer to eye level. And finally, there's briefcase mode. You must first activate briefcase mode in the DJI Assist app, and then turn the handlebars 90 degrees to fit through doorways or tight spaces. For really precise movement and excellent framing, grab a buddy. You'll capture your best footage working as a team with the included remote control. 
A camera operator can use the remote to control the camera's pan and tilt, while someone else can just be dedicated to controlling the stabilizer. With dual operation, you can pull off some more advanced movements and techniques to increase the production value of your overall footage. Finally, there are a number of accessories that you can use with the Ronin-M, but one of the most important will be a mounting bracket for the monitor. I found that the DJI mounting bracket works great. Also, a small lightweight monitor is important, and I'm trying out this new small HD 502. It's a 1080 screen that weighs just 9 ounces. DJI is also expected to release a thumb controller that allows the Ronin-M operator to control the camera's panning and tilting with their thumb while they fly. Overall, the Ronin-M allows the operator to be completely mobile and pull off lots of different camera movements with just a single device. When balanced correctly and with proper technique, capturing smooth handheld video is easy to achieve. Thanks for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help. We all know the difference a great teacher makes. They inspire you, challenge you, and push you to do the things you never thought you could. For creatives, that means you've got to know your tools inside and out, whether it's Photoshop or photography, lighting or Lightroom, InDesign or After Effects. And while there are free videos out there, you have to watch 30 bad ones just to find a decent one. And a lot of times, the techniques are either outdated, complicated, or just plain wrong. What we need is a better way to learn. One that connects amazing teachers with creative people all over the world, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. A thriving educational community with nothing but the most talented, engaging, and respected teachers in the industry. Then we simplify the whole learning process with short, clear, concise classes. That's exactly what we've created for you right here at Kelby One.